All right, everybody, welcome back to SnowRunner. We've got the wheel set up again. Uh, I plan for this to be an hour long. As I said in my previous episode, that's what I would like to do when I do play with my wheel. There are going to be longer episodes. Um, it all really depends on if my son stays asleep for his nap. Because if he wakes up, obviously I'm going to have to end it. But we should be able to at least get an hour in. So we're going to go as long as we can, longest being an hour, because that's the most I can do. That is the most I can do uh, recording on my PlayStation, so. Alright, let's get going. Alright, we're going to do this uh, forest cleaner, which we need to go pick up these burnt logs. We need four of them. Um, I do have a log loading crane, so, you know, I could manually load, like, six of them into here, and then load the other two on, on the, this trailer, or we just do a whole other trip. I don't know. We may just do a whole extra trip, because why not? I'll just drop this trailer over there somewhere so that we have it, and then I will just uh, come back over and get the last one. We're going to go this way. I think this is the best way to go. But we just got the Mastodon because it can... Um, well, mine is modded, but... The vanilla mastodon can um, put a medium log frame on, and I think it can still tow a trailer. I'm not totally sure on that, but I think it can. Now this uh, log loader crane flipped around face towards the front, I believe is part of the mod. Because I have two options, I can have it facing the way it is or facing towards the back. And if you have it facing towards the back, then you can't put the medium um, log thing on, so I don't actually even know if it's the log crane will work in this setup. It might. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, but whatever. I don't know that I'll need it. I just put it on just because it's always a pain in the ass with logs. If you tip with logs, having to fix it just really sucks, so especially if you don't have a log crane, then you can't. So, you know, I'm just figured I'd put it on. That way I could at least have it. I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it. It's probably going to not clip through that frame on the log bunk there and get all jacked up. Probably launch me into the sky. Who knows? But I'm not going to use it unless I have to. I'm not going to try to use it unless I have to. So, As always, when I play with my wheel, you may get some extra noise through my microphone, like, you know, clacking from, like, the wheel or like from the shifter, you know, I'll try my best to mitigate that, but there's not much I can do. My microphone is literally like directly above my wheel. It's really the only way I can set it up. I'm gonna go this way. We shouldn't have any problems going this way. This should not flip. And I always jinx myself, but it shouldn't. This truck is very stable. Yeah, we're good. I've had the freaking tag of bee roll over there like a cat in heat. But this Mastodon's not going anywhere. We're just going to follow this road around and then go across up here where it crosses. Because it, I think it brings us out right around where the burnt logs are. If not, either way, it takes us to that burnt forest area, which is where we need to be. Engine shut off. It's weird. I 
I haven't been recording during the day a lot lately, just because my, my youngest son, obviously my oldest son's at school, but my youngest, he hasn't been taking as long of naps as he usually does. I mean, he is, you know, he's two and a half. He's, he's getting close to three. He'll turn three in February. But, like, you know, it's around that time is when he's probably going to stop taking naps. So it's, we're getting kind of close to that, and it kind of sucks, but it just means I'm not going to be able to record during the day at all anymore. Which, like I said, I haven't really been doing anyway. But it does help me get a little bit ahead at least if I do record during the day. I did have myself ahead for the weekend that my sister-in-law was here because I couldn't record while she was here. But now, you know, that's all past and I'm pretty much recording an episode for the next day, the night before. But it's all right. It works out in the end. The episode that goes up today is Cyberpunk, I believe. And then this will go up. Well, today as of recording this, it's a Cyberpunk day. And then this will go up, obviously, the next day. This should be up on uh, Thursday the 26th. I mean, it's nice to be playing with a wheel again. Um, if you haven't noticed, though, if I do play with the wheel, obviously it will most likely be a longer episode unless, you know, something happens while I'm recording where I can't make it a longer episode. Um, but it will have the Logitech wheel in the thumbnail. Uh, how do I get in there? I guess you just have to drive in there somehow. We're going to go this way. Let me just map this out so I know where I'm going. Um, but yeah, it'll have the, uh, the image of the Logitech wheel on the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. So if you see that, then that means I am playing with my wheel. If you don't see that, then obviously I'm just using the controller. You can obviously tell, too, on the bottom right of the screen there, those are showing wheel buttons. You know, like if I, uh, do that, like you can see those are my paddles, and then, um, whatever else, but that's another way to know if someone's playing with a wheel, it shows the paddles over there instead of L1 and R1, or whatever, left bumper, right bumper for Xbox, you know, I mean, I don't really need to say that every time I play on PlayStation, I'm going to refer to PlayStation buttons, uh, so anyway, yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do, I'm not going to always play with my wheel, but in instances where I do, like I said, there'll be longer episodes and it will have that icon on the thumbnail of the video. I've also had a lot of people ask me, and I, I mentioned this briefly in um, the first episode I put up where I played with my wheel. Um, people keep asking if it auto-centers after you turn, and it definitely does not. I don't think it ever did. I had someone not really arguing with me, but basically telling me that it does auto-center, or it's supposed to, but like it definitely doesn't. And it has nothing to do with... I cannot get up that. Uh, don't roll over, please. I gotta get in here, dude. 
there's fucking stumps everywhere. Like, this is not the best truck to be trying to get in here. It already gets stuck on everything from the front bumper. Alright, we made it. No, we didn't. Now our trailer's stuck. Son of a bitch. winching in this game. Well, the trick works, though. Let me just use my wheel to get myself unstuck here. Or my wheel, my controller. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I've had people say that it's supposed to auto-center, and it definitely doesn't, and it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if you have this at the steering wheel. That means nothing. That really only matters, um... See, like it says, steering input is applied directly intended to use with a steering wheel will cause automatic wheel centering if this mode is used with a controller. So, like, I don't, I don't think, and I really don't think if this is set to controller, if it does it either. Yeah, like, it definitely doesn't. So, I don't, I don't know where people are getting that. I don't know if it's, like, a Mandela effect or what, but it definitely never did that. You can try setting your settings like I have here if you feel that you don't have... You know, if you don't like something or you think it's too much, definitely be common console preset. I would try to set these to these values if you want. And then this is how I have my shifter set up. Um, but I have a whole video on that, so just find that on my channel. It's usually at the end screen, too, of the videos. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. I might mention that every steering wheel episode just because... Um, What? Not enough space. Well, that's weird. Let's see if I can use this one. I feel like this is going to say the same thing. I don't know, the only thing I can think of is that's a modded trailer, and maybe it just doesn't like the burnt logs. I don't know. It works there. Weird. Alright, well, we'll just have to use this vanilla trailer then. Which we have to do two trips anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, now we just got to get out of here and go to the gateway. I'll try to go back the way I came, because that's the easiest. Uh, what was I saying? Don't, 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 Shit. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I know I was talking about uh, the wheel and whatnot, but... Um, but yeah, I'll try to mention that every episode just because if someone new come, gets, you know, recommended my video because it's, you know, a Logitech wheel video, whatever, because like it's always, <sighs> I knew that was probably risky to try that. Um... Should be fine as long as we can get moving here. Let me get out of here. But yeah, as long as if someone new comes along and sees one of my videos and knows sees that I'm playing with a wheel or that's why they were somewhat recommended because I have it in my description, whatever. Um then at least they'll be able to like copy my settings or whatever or you know them hearing that I have a video about setting up a wheel and whatnot for this game they can go check that out as well so
Playing SnowRunner with a wheel is a lot of fun, but you just got to keep in mind that you're going to need, if you're playing on console, you're still going to need um, a controller on and nearby to be able to use things like the map and whatnot. Am I going the right way? No. Fuck, because I didn't... Ugh. Always do this shit, man. It's so frustrating. That's... Ugh. I'm going to have to go in here and turn around because I can't turn around easily with this thing. Um, but yeah, like, you, if you're playing on console, you have to have a controller. And it switches seamlessly. Like, I just used my controller right there on the map. And then, you know, as soon as I start using the wheel again, it switches back. And I know if you watch, if you watch my videos, I say that a lot. Like, I mention that a lot, and I know a lot of times I probably sound like a broken record, just repeating the same things over and over, but you gotta understand that I don't really have, like, a, I would say, um, consistent viewer base. I would say most people that watch my videos haven't seen any of my other videos. So, really, every time someone watches my video, they're most likely a new viewer. So that's why I repeat things a lot, and I don't know, it's just, just kind of how it goes. Oh my god, this is horrible. I chose the worst truck for this. I should have used the 605R. But that, that one can't have a medium log bunk on it. There are mods that can, but the one I use does not allow it, which is fine. could have used a semi though I guess but that's probably what I should have used I should have used a semi but although I'm kind of glad I didn't because it didn't seem to like that modded trailer so maybe it's best that I didn't use a semi because it didn't seem like it wanted to put those burnt logs on that trailer I believe where we have to go is pretty close by to this gateway, so it shouldn't be that bad doing these deliveries. It should be pretty quick, I would think. Alright, so um, a little bit of other stuff to talk about. Uh, I'll probably have, well I know I will. I'll get the uh, Assassin's Creed Unity Platinum today, for sure. I only have to get all the chests and the co cockades, whatever they are. They're the little, like, uh, French flag-looking circular things. Um, so, yeah, once we get those, which we only have one more little region to do. Oh, sawmill's all the way over there. Well, let's just map our path a little bit so we don't turn the wrong way or anything, as I always do. Uh, I can get in that way, it just might be a little tight. Should we turn here and go that way? Or should we go... Yeah, the other gateway is the better gateway. Yeah, let's turn here, we'll go this way, we'll be able to get through here. famous last words, but, you know, and I want to go that way. All right, um, so yeah, I, I only have one, one little region out of the whole map to collect. There's maybe, like, 20 chests left and a couple, a couple of those things, and then we'll have the Platinum Trophy, and then I can move on to Syndicate, which I'm kind of excited about, because I remember liking Syndicate. I just never finished it. Same with pretty much every Assassin's Creed that I've played. Other than, like, the very first ones, I've, I've, you know, I had originally completed Assassin's Creed 2 and, like, Brotherhood and Revelations. Like, I had beaten all those years ago, but not on this account, so, you know, going back and getting all those trophies has been fun. 
even Black Flag though, like Black Flag was probably my favorite one over all the years, and I never finished that one back then either. I mean, I obviously have now, I've gotten the Platinum Trophy on it and everything, but yeah, it's just funny how like I would, back then, like I used to play games a lot, and I am the same, like I used to always want to get all the trophies still, even back then, but I guess I would just, something else would come out, or you know, I would just start playing something else. I'd get back into RuneScape, like, I don't know, and I'd, I would just stop playing whatever game I was playing and just never get all the trophies for it, so it's been fun going back, especially for the ones that I have on this account and, you know, haven't finished, so going back and getting all the trophies has been fun. Even though on, like, PSN profiles it says it took me, like, nine years to get the Black Flag Platinum, <laughs> which, you know, it's whatever. I don't really care about the amount of time it takes me to get the Platinum. It's not a big deal to me. That's not what it's about. I just enjoy getting trophies and completing games 100%. And I do genuinely try to do that for most games I play. If there's a game that I wasn't specifically, like, super fond of or whatever, then I obviously didn't complete it. If you look through my, you know, PSN profile, you'll see that. There's also just a lot of games on there that, like, I've played that, like, I never really had any intention of collecting all the trophies. Like, uh, the F1 game, never, never intended on getting all those trophies. Um, there's just, there's some other games that are just on there. And then my son, he plays on the PlayStation sometimes, and I have since made him his own PSN account. Um, but before he just used to use mine when he would play games so he's you know opened a lot of games on my account that he played like monster truck games and whatever else so some of those are on my account and i may just go through and platinum those just because they're probably really easy to do and then that way they'll be at 100 percent, and it won't like you know it only help my completion percentage but like i said i don't really care too much about the psn profiles completion percentage I don't care about high scores. I don't care about the leaderboards. The leaderboards are all jacked up anyways because of people that care about that kind of stuff using like shovelware games where they're like, you know, one and two dollar games and they take like 10 minutes to get a platinum trophy. Like that's just stupid. I just, it, it's not, I play games that I enjoy and games that, you know, are like full length games. Like that's, and not to say I won't play like an indie that even doesn't have a platinum. As long as it's not a game that, like, you know, you just have to tap X a thousand times to get a Platinum Trophy. Like, that's so stupid. But, you know, a game like like Little Nightmares, it's a game I've always wanted to play, but I haven't gotten around playing it. Um, that does not have a Platinum. At least the first one. The second one does. But the first game does not have a Platinum Trophy. So, like, I don't really care that it doesn't have a Platinum. But, like, it's also not a game that you can just you know, you just have to tap X a whole bunch of times. Like, it actually has a story and you have to play through the game and and actually, there is actually a trophy that I believe is kind of difficult. Not that it's, like, super hard or anything, but, you know, it's not it's not a simple trophy to get. Um, but I'll eventually get to that. I don't know if I'll play it on the channel or not. I might. There's a lot of games that I need to get to, like um, Assassin's Creed Mirage, uh, Spider-Man 2, obviously. I would love to play those on the channel. I just, I gotta... I'm not doing Mirage until I get all the way through all the Assassin's Creeds, just because... I don't want to, like, I've been playing through them in release order, so, like, I get to play through all of them kind of in the, oh, I can't go that way. I used, like, that way I can play through them all, like, as the progression has improved over the years of them developing Assassin's Creed. So, like, I don't want to play the newest one where there could be, you know, a better mechanic for something and then go back to an older game and like not have that mechanic like i just you know that's just not not a fun thing for me that's why i know like some people like to play in like um timeline order which would put the games like way way out of order and you would play like you would play like origins first and then you would play like i don't know odyssey and like the hall like you would play like the newer games first and then you'd have to go all the way back to like the older games and it would be like the huge shock like it would just be way different so all right we're gonna go back to the other gateway and then just basically drive back around like we just did 
and get another load of these logs. Bring them back. I mean, this probably is going to take up most of this episode, but that's fine. It's a wheel episode, and I'm having fun. But yeah, so like it's, you know, I just, I don't have any desire to do that. So I'm just going to wait until I get all the way through all of the ones that are already, you know, out. And that even includes, like, I have the Platinum Trophy for Valhalla, but there's been DLC since that I haven't played. I've played like the Paris DLC and, or the France DLC, whatever it was. I think it was Paris. I don't know. But anyway, I've played some of the DLCs, but I haven't played like the other ones that have come out. So I need to do those just to get that back up to 100% because it's at like 70% now since I, there's like two DLCs I've missed and that's fine I liked Valhalla I mean there was a ton of collectibles in it but you know I enjoyed it and I'll I'll buy the DLC I don't care but so yeah so I'm not going to play Mirage until I get through all of those so once I'm done with Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty which I don't know how long that's going to take it doesn't have that many trophies but like some of the trophies are going to require, like, um, like, I'll have to make a save, I believe, and then make a choice and play through that. Because there's a couple different endings, I believe, for it, kind of like the, the base game. So, I don't know, we'll see. And then, but once I get done with that, I believe the plan, well, my plan is to play Spider-Man 2. So that'll be the next, uh, Platinum Let's Play on the channel. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of the goal. But we got to get through Phantom Liberty first. And I've really been enjoying that, so I don't really want to like rush it. And I don't really care too much about like getting Spider-Man up right now. Because like I said, I'm small time here. Like no one's, no one's going to watch someone play Spider-Man that has, you know, less than 500 subs and like you know it's just it's just not i don't see it happening i mean it could happen i guess and i'm not like you know discrediting anyone that's watching my videos because if you are watching my videos i really do appreciate it um you know it's like i said i just really do this for fun and you know it kind of just gives me something to do just talk about random things and Play some games. Um, I need some fuel. Do I want to drive back to the fuel station and fill up? I mean, it's not that far away. I guess I probably should. I might actually take a different route, too. Instead of going that way, I'll go past the warehouse like down that road but let's go to the to the fuel station and get some fuel how are we doing on time here yeah we're at 30 minutes so yeah this may be the only thing we even do in this whole episode but like I said that's totally fine it's uh It's a fun, fun episode where we're just driving our truck with a wheel. I hope this goes over well. Like, I hope, you know, if if you do like watching my SnowRunner videos and you watch and you watch them every other day, definitely let me know in the comments. It's, it'd be nice to know that I have people that are watching my videos, like, consistently. And if you like this idea of longer episodes with the wheel, whoa then obviously, uh, you know, let me know how you feel about that too. I, um, I definitely like to hear thoughts and comments. And it's just nice to know that, you know, people are watching and engaging in my videos. Because that only helped me, you know, gain more viewers and whatever in the long run if, if people are commenting and telling me, you know, if there's something I can improve or whatever. I mean, if you want to comment and tell me I suck, I guess that's fine, too. Is 
Mastodon is not going to make this turn. Oh, we might. Eh. Nope. <laughs> Man, it's so nice. Like, shifting with the shifter is so nice. Like, that's just the best thing. I wish, like, honestly, I wish I could just play. Like, well, I like using the wheel, obviously. But, like, if I could use the shifter without the wheel, like, if I was just playing with a controller, that would be, that would just be amazing. Because you could just, like, it's just so easy to shift your gears when you're using the wheel. Uh, shifter. Now, obviously, that's not very practical to use a shifter while you're using a controller, because you pretty much need two hands on the controller to, you know, use, like, the gas and steer, but because obviously you can just use one wheel to steer a steering wheel, and then your other hand can be on the shifter, but There's also there's some games that I have, like that I had originally like. Well, originally I actually bought this Wheel Force No Runner, but I also just I really do like racing games too, like Gran Turismo. Obviously, I haven't played Gran Turismo Seven though. I have GT Sport, but I haven't played Seven. Um, but then like F1 and uh, Dirt are all games that I like. I prefer the more realistic Dirt, like Dirt Rally. Dirt Rally 2.0 is so difficult, especially with a wheel. Like, holy shit. It's insane. And you can turn that on to, like, basically super simulation to where you can have it, like, full manual where it requires clutch use. So, like, even starting out in first gear, you have to use the clutch. Like, it's crazy. And it, it like, acts a lot like a real manual car starting out in first gear. But the only problem is that you can't really feel, like when you drive a manual transmission car, um, you can kind of feel, like you feel when the clutch like catches to let it go, so you can start going, but like you don't get that sensation, obviously, with the pedals here, so like, it's just very strange, I don't know, and that game's just really hard to begin with, so, like that's a game that's on my, like, my you know, list of tro or list of profile or on my PSM profile that definitely has a very low percentage, but like I don't ever think I would ever possible to get the platinum trophy in that game because that game is so hard. I mean, I haven't really looked it up on PSM profiles to see the difficulty of it. Which, granted, I take that difficulty very, very, very loosely because difficulty is obviously subjective. Um, but some things are just very very hard for no reason too so like i understand why they why they use the difficulty thing uh, what do i need to go here i just i don't know where i'm going oh my controller turned off uh yeah that's i want to go yeah. this way um I've totally lost what I was talking about now. Son of a bitch. Uh, oh yeah, difficulty. Um, yeah, there's just some things that are just like super, super hard that like, you know, it really comes down to just like really, really, really practicing and getting really good at it for things. Like Super Meat Boy is considered, you know, a really, really, really hard platinum to get, which that is one I wouldn't mind trying sometime, but I don't think I will record that because that's going to be, you know, me just trying things over and over and over and getting really pissed off, which no one wants to hear that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll try to do that. Uh, maybe someday if I start live streaming, like, that would be a good thing. Like, I've said this before, too. If I ever do start, like, live streaming and like have viewers in the live stream, you know, like that might be something I do in live streams is like go back through my um, list of trophies and see if there's any that I can clean up and try and platinum. 
I know there's probably some on my list that aren't possible anymore. Just because of like online servers being shut down. Because there was a very for a while there, when games would come out, they always had multiplayer and they always had multiplayer trophies. So it kind of turned me off from like trophy hunting for a while, which is why I think a lot of those games like Black Flag and like Unity, I didn't want to go for like I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to get the multiplayer trophies and especially like the original Assassin's Creed, like Assassin's Creed 2 and like Brotherhood and Revelations, they all had multiplayer. And I hated the Assassin's Creed multiplayer, so I just never cared enough to do it. The Ezio collection removed all of that, so I didn't have to even worry about it anymore. And then Black Flag, it was kind of a bitch, but I did use the um, boosting sessions thing on PSN profiles and found some people that also needed what I needed, and we got it all done. Even the DLC stuff, so that was nice. And honestly, the grind to level 55 wasn't even that bad. You can do it in solo wolf pack, which is basically just like a game mode, but you don't have to do it with other players. You can just do it solo, and it works just as well. And I mean, it you know, you have to do it for quite a while. It's not exactly quick, but it's also just, you know, it's not that bad either. So I don't want to miss where I need to turn here. So, um, but yeah, and then Unity's online trophies there's really only two that really require you to do anything with another player, and that is the 10 synchronized kills, which you have to assassinate 10 enemies simultaneously with the other person. And then there's also, you have to revive a, like, a friend. So those, and then the other one that is technically like an online trophy is to do all of the, um, co-op missions and heists but you can do all of that solo you don't have to have anyone with you so god seriously i freaking like this truck man it's so it just gets stuck on every little thing i love this truck but i hate that it can't drive over a freaking bump uh so yeah so there's you know there's those but they weren't really hard to get i just used i have a I mean, obviously, I still have a PS4, and I have I have an old PSN that I don't use anymore. Um, so, and you know, my this account, my Azardon account, <laughs> is on my PS4, obviously, because that whenever I got my PS4 was when I created this PSN because you couldn't change your name still back then in 2013, 2014, whenever the PS4 came out. I think it came out in 2013. You still couldn't change your name, so um, I just made a new account because my name on that account, I just, you know, outgrew, whatever. So I didn't want that name anymore. And it's kind of unfortunate because I did have quite a few Platinums on there, nothing like significant. But I did have some Platinums on there, um, like the original Dead Space, not the remake, the original Dead Space. I had Platinum, but I think that was like one of my first ever Platinum trophies, um, which that was Platinum on the PS3, I guess, but still, it still showed, obviously, on my um, trophy list, just like it does here. I need to go this way, right? Um, but yeah, so, it, you know, there's there's some trophies I definitely lost. I think I only had, like, seven or eight Platinums, and a, quite a few of them were LEGO games, like LEGO Harry Potter, which is two in itself, because they were two separate, um, two separate games when it came out. They came out years one through four, and then years five through seven. Um, but then, obviously, I re platinum that when it was released for, like, PS4, and then even the PS5 remastered version. Well, I guess the PS5 remastered version is the one I... Well, it wasn't really remastered, but it was just, you know, it was released with a PS5 version or whatever, I guess. So I had platinum that on this one. But then... Um, I don't know. I'd have to actually look over that, because I don't know if there's any games that I don't have that were platinumed on that that I would like to have. Um, but anyway... I used that account to help 
some of the people because I could only find there was one person we found which unfortunately like I feel bad for just like ditching them I really do and I think it was a girl she I'm just going to use they because I don't know if they were a girl or a guy but they like they wouldn't join the voice chat and then they finally did join the voice chat they just had their microphone muted and they would just send like text text chats in the in the group but like me and the other guy which he's still on my friends list because he was actually pretty cool um but me and him would just be talking the whole time but we could never get together like you had to in order to make it easiest you have to make two clans and then have four people so you have you know the two clans you invite one of the people the other person invites the other person and then you do clan matches because they count as public matches but they're essentially private in a way because if you just have two you know two clans with two group two people in each clan and you search for a clan uh clan game or clan match whatever at the same time the game is going to group you with the other clan that is the same amount of people as you it's just kind of how it, it worked i guess and um for some reason like i would i made a clan and i invited my alternate account on my ps4 into it and i was in a group with my other account and uh then the other two people they couldn't ever like they could get in the same clan but they could never get in a group together and me and the one guy had the same nat which was open it was nat type 2 or whatever which was open which you shouldn't have any issues um and then the other person uh they had a like a, a more strict nat type i don't remember which one it was but it was a yellow um so we were just we had trouble like we couldn't connect with them at all and they were in Brazil. I'm on the East Coast of the United States. I live in Maryland. Um, the other guy that I liked a lot, and he's still one of my friends on my friend list, uh, he lives on the West Coast of Canada. So, like, we're kind of far away, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, you know, we're still on the same continent at least. Which, granted, I know Brazil is in South America, but I don't know. It was just, it was, we couldn't connect to them at all. Like, it wouldn't work. So we tried and tried and tried. We got some of the trophies. I think we ended up getting the Game Lab trophy, which the, the person in Brazil didn't need that one. Um, but anyway, I eventually found one other, another person, and he lived in, I think, Chicago or... I don't know, either Illinois or Indiana. I don't remember which one. I think, it, I think he said he lived in Chicago, so Illinois. Uh, but So he's really close to me, but he was they were able to get in a group together per perfectly fine, a clan group, and then I was able, obviously, to do the same thing and get my... Is this where I want to turn? Yeah, and get, you know, get my two accounts in the same group, and we joined... We couldn't get it to work at first. It wouldn't let us... They were, they were having trouble getting into a group together at first, and then they managed to get into just a regular group together, and then I was like, well, if you guys are in a regular group, then get in a clan group. And they finally did it, and it worked. And then we were able to join a clan match, and we got all the trophies done that we were... All the harder trophies. Uh, the one guy that is still on my friends list, he still has a couple online trophies to get, but he can get all those himself. He doesn't need help to get them. So... But I did tell him, like, if he needs help, because it is hard. One of the trophies... Well, it's not hard. One of the trophies requires you to play every single game mode and some of the game modes just aren't really played anymore so i told him if he needs help you can do those in private so if he needs help i'll uh, just jump on and and help him get that done but he hasn't asked me and it's been quite a while now so um but yeah i'm just i'm happy to have gotten all that done because and if they do end up remastering Black Flag, which is the rumor, I'm gonna play it again because I love that game, and I'll just, you know I'll play it again. Hopefully they remove the multiplayer. They should. I don't see why they wouldn't. But and you know I actually I didn't really like Unity at first because Unity was like the first game where they really changed the combat and it was just really hard to get used to and honestly the game it doesn't really 
I mean, it does tell you, like, how to, like, level up. But, like, you have to, like, level up in the game, because there's, like, a like a star, or, like, it's, they're diamonds, but it's kind of like a star system. And you start out at, like, one star, one diamond, and the, the, like, the highest difficulty is five, like, five diamonds. So, like, in order to, you know, level up Arno, you have to uh, buy him better gear and weapons and, like, you know, unlock more skills. And it doesn't, like, you can base, if you just basically play, there we go, that's done. If you basically just play straight through the story, like, you're not going to, you're going to start to get, it's going to start to get really hard because you're not leveling him up and uh, he just is kind of weak. So it's a little, it's it's hard. Like, it doesn't really, like, it does tell you that you need to level up, but, like, it doesn't, I don't know, they're just, they're, I feel like there should have been more emphasis on, like, you need to do side content, you need to, you know, do stuff that will make you money to be able to buy better gear and whatnot. But I actually really do enjoy it now, and it's not, I don't find the combat as hard as it was originally, so. Okay. Uh... What are we at time-wise here? We have a couple minutes. We could at least get something started. Um, fuel, we're going to have to go back. Are both of my Zeeks here? I believe so. Yes. Does this have a trailer? It has a log trailer. Which, and I'm just going to delete it. And we're just going to recover because we need to get fuel. I recover a lot and I don't really feel bad about it because I'm not playing hard mode, so it's fine. When I do play a hard mode playthrough, which I plan to. Um, but I'm not doing that until I have 100% completed all the regions, and as you know, we, whoops, we, um, you know, obviously we have Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, Cola, Yukon, Winds, Wisconsin, Amir, Dawn, Maine, Tennessee, Glades, and we're 74% on Ontario, we have to do British Columbia, and then Scandinavia, and then whatever is after Scandinavia, which is season 12, which no one knows yet, but obviously, um, on my channel, I started with a mirror because I was not recording back then when I did all of these. So if you're wondering where all those are, that's why um, I started playing this and uploading it with a mirror. But yeah. Um, all right, let's activate this task because I did not activate it. I don't think I can get service bear parts here, can I? Oh, I have. there's two here. All right, we'll take those. Shit, why not? All right, well, I need to get a trailer, so let's get our four slot, because I prefer the four slot over the six. Although, maybe I should just take a six, so I have a six. No, nah, we're not. We, we're taking the four slot. I don't really like the six slot, unless I, like, really need it. Oh, shit. I don't really like it. My wheel was turned. That's one thing you got to remember. If, you, if your wheel's turned... And then, like, you switch to the controller. Whoa, that fence is, like, a snake. Um, when you switch to your... When you, just, like, pick up your controller and, like, start using your controller, the wheel just stays where it's at. And then, like, when you switch back to your wheel, if you don't right your wheels, it'll, like... It'll spin the wheel to, like, the direction the wheels are in the truck. Ah, oh, that's weird. But... I don't know. I, I know some games, like a lot of racing games, auto-center the wheel, but that's part of like the the force feedback thing. And like this game has force feedback, but it's not super strong. And I even turn it down some because I think, I, I don't know. I like feeling when you're driving on the road, like the, the wheel does rock back and forth a lot from like, you know, rocks and potholes and whatever else, bumps. But like, it's not super aggressive. And I don't think you'd want it to be super aggressive because I feel like it would be really tiring if it was super aggressive. So. Alright. Get our fuel. But yeah, 
Yeah, we definitely need to take these service repair parts from here because we need two more even for the other one. Oh, I actually need another fuel. Shit. I should probably grab that because I'm not... That way I don't have to come back. I didn't even notice that. Let's turn it around. Uh, we're obviously not going to get this finished here, but because we are getting close to an hour. All right, let's go back here, pick up one more fuel because we're going to need it. So instead of having to come back over here, because even if we do have to come back over here to get a metal beam, um, we can come through the one gateway and we shouldn't have to worry about coming back over here. But we need three fuel, so we might as well take it. I think there's still metal beams on the other map, though, so we should be okay. But we'll go here, we'll swing into that warehouse, get those two service bear parts, and then we will come back out and go through the close gateway here. Unless... I don't even know where the... where. I guess I should check. Because if I go through the one side, or the farther gateway away, over by the burned area, that takes me out near a warehouse, and if there's service spare parts in that warehouse, that would be best to pick them up there, I guess. I still haven't added uh, the consumables recipe to my cargo and crafting guide. I really need to do that. Once I pull in here and load this up, I'll check the map and see where these weather stations are. Which, neither one's locked, so it looks like I can do either one. Now, sometimes these, like, combo ones are locked. Like, you have to do the first weather station first, but it's showing both of them on the screen. So, usually that means neither one of them is locked. I can come back down that way if I have to. I've done it before. Alright, let's check real quick. Whoops. There's the second weather station. Okay, the first weather station is right there. So maybe I should go to the further one. Although it doesn't have any service spare parts. So yeah, let's just go through this gateway here and we'll go pick up. Yeah, and there's metal beams there too. So we'll go through there and pick up those service spare parts. We'll see if we can at least get to that warehouse and pick it up, and then we'll end the episode there, and then we will um, continue on in the next episode, delivering it, and then doing the other half of this. I don't know if it'll be a wheel episode. It may or may not be. Um, there's no guarantees that I'm going to play with my wheel. I will do my best, but it is a pain for me to drag out and set up. I have to keep it in my basement because it's very heavy. I don't want it to fall on my youngest kid. Uh, it would hurt because it's heavy because I have it on a metal GT Omega like collapse it's like a it can, the pedals are attached and the pedals can like fold up so it can like it doesn't really make it much more storageable but like the pedals can fold up so you can at least like prop it against the wall or something but I keep it down in my basement yeah I don't know if we're gonna make it we're at 55 minutes um, I can't I can't run longer than an hour so we're probably going to have to end when we go through this gateway, and that's all right. We'll just uh, pick it up in the next episode right from this, right from 
the other side of the gateway and we'll go pick up the last parts and then deliver it. Um, but yeah, it, I can't, I just don't want to guarantee that I'm going to always use my wheel because it's just a pain to drag up the stairs, set up, get my microphone in the right position. And then, you know, like I said, I, I want to at least at minimum, um, well, not at minimum. I would like them to be an hour long because it at least gives me more time with all the effort it takes to set up. Um, so I just, I don't want to set it up and only play for 30 minutes and then take it all back down and pick it all back downstairs. Like it's just, that's a lot of work for 30 minutes. So um, we'll just drive for a little bit here, but I am going to have to end in the next three minutes or so because we're at 56 minutes and I can only record for 60 on the PlayStation. And then also Share Factory is limited to 60 minutes as well. So we got to keep it under 60 minutes. But I'm going to end it. So like I said, I, uh, I don't, I'm not going to promise the next episode will be a wheel episode. It might be, it might not be. Just keep an eye out, like I said, for the thumbnail. If it has a wheel on it in the bottom right corner, then that means it's a wheel episode. Obviously, you'll be able to tell if it's a longer episode too, but sometimes my episodes run a little bit longer than 30 minutes anyways. So if you see one that's like 40 minutes, 45, it's probably not a wheel episode. And again, the surefire way to know is by the seeing the Logitech wheel in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail. So... Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And I will catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.